What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about how to get calcium to your turtle. Now I know I've said it before, but again, I'll just say it again because maybe you haven't seen my other videos, but for any animal with a shell, calcium is important. And for any animal with bones even, calcium is important. And though when you do feed pellets, you might see in your guaranteed analysis that there is some calcium in their pelleted food, I personally think it's a good idea to offer them other outside sources of calcium that they can decide to eat if they feel the need to have more of those minerals in their body. And so we're talking a little bit about how I actually provide this calcium to my turtles. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. The first way I provide calcium to my turtles is through cuddle bone. Now you may have actually heard of this before. Um, sometimes it's actually sold in stores as turtle bone. You might also see it being sold in the bird section as just straight up cuddle bone. But basically what it is is a bone inside a cuttlefish and it's made up of calcium and other trace minerals um, and it's a good source of these minerals for your turtles should they eat it. And so they usually look like this. You, I usually buy them from the bird section because it's cheaper than the turtle bone. But they usually look like this. They're fairly inexpensive. I think they range anywhere from three to five dollars for one to two pieces of cuddle bone. The one thing you need to watch out for is this hard backing over here. When you get it, you'll notice that one side kind of looks like plasticky and rigid, whereas the other side is kind of like actually looks like a bone and it's more dusty and chalky. This is the side that your turtle will eat. This is a side that you want to remove. And so basically how you remove this is you will take a sharp object. I use a razor blade or you can also use like a butter knife and you will just peel off basically this back layer. Um, let me show you. I think I see this little piece coming off here. So you can see here, this is like the edge of that plastic area right there. And so you can take something sharp and just peel that part off. I literally just use my fingers, which is not the best way to do it, but you want to take off this hard part so that your turtle won't actually accidentally choke on it. But you just want to remove that hard backing just to make sure that your turtle won't choke on it. And because it's just a little bit harder, it can be harder for them to crush and swallow. And so you want to remove that. But once you have the backing off, it might look a little bit like this. And so you can see it's kind of more in pieces now because I couldn't keep it all together while I was removing it. But usually I'll just do a piece of this size and I will just put this inside the tank, let it float in there. And then if the turtle feels like it needs calcium, it can just go up and bite that cuddle bone and ingest it. And that's a way to get them calcium. Now, personally, I actually have never seen my turtles eat this like while I was watching them, although I have seen parts of it disappear. So I'm just assuming that they are eating it. And there are videos online of people's turtles actually eating cu cuddle bone but I'm a person who likes to play it safe so I just provide it to them because it's really not that difficult to do and then it's just a source of calcium for them to have and this just I let it float in the tank and eventually it might become waterlogged and sink but your turtle can still eat it and so that is one way to provide calcium to your turtle is with cuddle bone. Another way to get calcium to your turtle is through just straight up calcium powder and so this is rep cal just basic calcium powder um, this one has no d3 in it um, personally I just don't use d3 because this is also what I use for my snello and I'm just assuming that when the turtle basks he's getting enough vitamin d3 in order to process the calcium and because calcium without the proper ratio of d3 can be actually unhealthy so I just use it without d3 honestly because I'm not sure even how effective it is to use this again I just do it to be on the safe side but anyways let me get into how this actually works because you're probably wondering how you get calcium powder to a turtle and so the way I do this is I actually put a little bit of this calcium powder into a plastic bag and then I will take the pellets for that day that I'm feeding that turtle. I will moisten them with a little bit of tank water or tap water, and then I will put the pellets inside that plastic bag with the calcium, shake it up, and coat those pellets with the calcium powder, and then I will give those pellets to the turtle. Now the trick with this is you have to feed the pellets only two or three at a time. Now this is because, as you can imagine, when you drop the pellets into the water, the calcium comes off of it and dissolves really quickly. So unless your turtle eats it right away, 
they really won't be getting any calcium powder and the calcium just goes into the water and is dissolved. So just do two or three pellets at a time, have the turtle eat those right away, and then you can continue feeding the rest of the pellets a couple at a time to make sure they're actually getting that calcium. Now I only do this once a week because as with many things, there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. And so I only do it once a week or even less frequently just to be safe, but I do like to give them a little bit of calcium to just make sure that they have good, strong shells and good, strong bones. And there goes the phone again. Now, another way to provide calcium to your turtle is through vegetables. Now, I'm going to do a separate video on vegetables at some point. I know I've been promising it for a while, but I just, the reason I haven't actually done a video on vegetables for turtles is because Frankly, I just feed romaine lettuce and collard greens, and that's all I really do for my turtles as far as vegetables, especially because Hoku doesn't even eat them yet. And I just need to do more research onto a wider variety of vegetables that you can feed your turtles. But the video will come out at some point. I'm not promising it anytime soon, but it will happen. But another way you can give your turtle calcium is through vegetables. Um, and I'm not sure of the calcium content of different vegetables, but I do know that there are vegetables with higher calcium content. And I'm sorry that that's not a very satisfactory answer, but that's all I have for you right now. If you do want to know more about vegetables with more calcium, then you have to do your own research, but that is another option. Another way you can get calcium to your turtles, and this one is specifically for diamondback terrapins, is with crushed coral, also sometimes called aragonite. So crushed coral is literally just that. It is literally crushed coral. And it's not focusing on the bag because this camera never focuses where it wants to. But it is literally crushed coral. This is often a substrate used by fish keepers who want to buffer their alkalinity. I can't say that word. Who want to buffer their alkalinity or hardness of their water, but it can also be used with diamondback terrapin specifically to get them calcium and also to wear down those crush plates. Now the reason I say this is for diamondback terrapin specifically and not necessarily for other turtles is because if you look at crushed coral, if the camera wants to focus again. It's actually quite gravel-like, and so if, as you can imagine, if a regular turtle eats this particle, they could very easily um, get impacted by this. I, I think it's possible. I mean, anything's possible. Again, I prefer to be on the safe side. But with diamondback terrapins, because their beaks and crush plates are so strong, they can actually eat this to wear it down. I'm not actually sure if they actually swallow it, and personally, I have never seen Hoku actually eat the crushed coral, but someone I know, Dan the Guppy Man, has actually caught his turtles eating crushed coral. In fact, I was actually on his Instagram live stream the other day, and he actually saw one of his turtles, his Diamondback Terrapins, eating the crushed coral. I'm not sure if they actually spit it out or if they actually swallow it, but whatever the case, their beaks are strong enough to crush it, and several experienced Diamondback Terrapin owners have actually recommended this to me. And so for diamondback terrapins, they can get trace minerals from crushed coral, but I would just use your own judgment and just be aware, do your own research. And something I actually wanted to talk about is just, I don't know everything. That's why I often say when it comes from my experience or what my personal experience is, but what I've heard from research, so that you guys can do your own research and not just take my source as your only source of information. You have to take everything you find on the internet with a grain of salt. I know that I don't know everything, and I am most certainly not professionally educated in really any areas of turtle care. I just know what I know from my three plus years of experience of keeping turtles and research I've done. And so it is up to you to do your own research on what is the best way to do anything regarding turtle care or even anything ever, you need to do your own research and come to your own conclusions. And that's just my little tidbit of advice for you there. Kinda just went rambling, but anyway, that is my thoughts and... But anyways, those are some ways you can get calcium to your turtle. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below, and as always, 
If you have any other ideas of how you can get calcium to your turtles, drop those in the comments below. I always enjoy checking out what your guys' suggestions are. And also, video ideas, video suggestions, I need yours. I actually have a spreadsheet now, so um, if you have any ideas, if you drop them in the comments, I'll input them into the spreadsheet. And I do what you guys want to see, so leave those ideas down there. And oh, huge shout to my patrons over on Patreon. Um, you guys in the Turtle Tribe are the best, and honestly one of the bigger reasons that I've actually tried to keep pushing out content every single week, so I really appreciate your guys' support. Christopher, thank you for joining the Tribe. I see you, that you were a new patron. Um, I really appreciate all of you who watch my videos. Thank you guys so much. Anyway, enough rambling from me today. Um, and I will see you guys at some point on a Friday. So I hope you guys have a turtly awesome day. Bye-bye!